everybody. Lewis. Steven. Lewis. Steven. Oh, Lewis Cato. Oh, Stephen Colbert. You guys sound fantastic tonight. Thank you, man. You Thank guys got you. so much energy tonight. Thank you so much. I need that. Yes. Uh, you know, Lewis, tonight we got uh, th this guy is uh, not only very talented, but I hear from reliable sources that he's super cute and sexy. Sebastian Stan is here tonight. Oh, yeah. That's exactly right. Those are the sounds I often hear when I mention his name around my house. <laughs> now, uh, I'm also going to be giving the Colbert question out to Shaquille O'Neal tonight. I'm sorry, Ooh. I don't want to leave Mr. O'Neal out of that. Can't leave him out of that. He's going to kill it. Folks, <laughs> you know, if you watch this show, you're aware that I spend most of my time right over there, wandering the news forest for you, felling all the biggest and hardiest white story oaks, cutting and shaping them into the newsiest, most topical cleats, clamps, and planks, keeping them at a constant angle, gradually creating a shell-shaped shallow bull hole using the fire-bending technique instead of steam bending, obviously. Then I lay out all the keel blocks to carefully set up the stem, stern, and garboard, attach the bilge futtocks to the timber, and lovingly craft a flat transom stern out of naturally curved quarter circles, then secure all the planks with trunnels handmade from the finest locust wood, and finally adorn it with a proud bowsprit, four-peak, and custom gilded figurehead to present to you the Dutch Golden Age Spiegel yacht that is my monologue. But sometimes, sometimes, folks, you gotta hydrate after that. Spiegel yacht. But sometimes I awaken from a meat sweat induced fever, strapped to a basket on the wonder wheel at Coney Island, stumble across the gar garbage flecked beach to the sound of a terrifying, ragged bellow I realize is coming from my own lungs, which then summons an army of seagulls whom I instruct to gather the half emptied cans of bush light left by a mob of Belgian tourists, all of which I gather into a sack I fashioned out of pants I stole from a sleeping cop. Then I swipe a giant inflatable baby Yoda from a carny game, strap it to the mast I made by ripping a B-68 bus stop sign out of the ground on the corner of Stillwell and launch the vessel as captain of the unregulated pirate booze cruise of news that is my segment. Meanwhile. It's eternal. Meanwhile is eternal. It is endless, endless and evergreen. Meanwhile. People Magazine may scrap its weekly print edition. What? No, People, you can't do this now. This was obviously going to be the year I was named People's Sexiest Man Alive. I swear. Hand to God. I swear I was going to start working out tomorrow. Are you not the least bit curious what I would look like with abs? Because my graphics department is... Are you telling me? Are you telling me you don't want to see that on your coffee table? And may I remind you, this means Paul Rudd will now be sexiest man forever. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Wisconsin man recently celebrated 50 years of eating Big Macs every day and says he will continue eating Big Macs with a Coca-Cola on the side until he dies, <laughs> which experts say should be next Tuesday. <laughs> that was good. That looks so good, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Tuesday, uh, this past Tuesday, Grubhub had a promotion where they offered free lunch to everyone in New York City, and somehow, offering 8 million meals all at once didn't go so great. <laughs> Grubhub's free lunch offer in New York crashed its website and app because they did not have enough drivers on the road to handle the volume of orders, leading to mountains of unclaimed wedge salads congealing on restaurant counters. That is not right. Salad should not go to waste on a restaurant counter. It should go to waste in the back of my refrigerator. <laughs> I swear I'm going to eat it tomorrow unless I definitely buy a meatball sub. Because <laughs> now I don't need abs. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> so close. So close. Meanwhile, in weird science news, scientists use gene editing to create mutant cockroaches in a breakthrough. Really? Can't roaches already survive a nuclear apocalypse? Why are we giving them mutant powers? I don't want a cockroach that can read my mind and look sexy in spandex. 
If you've got a mutant formula, maybe use it on something that needs the help, like the salad in the back of my fridge. I swear I just put it in there last week, and it's already pesto. That's why I'm getting a meatball sub. <laughs> Meanwhile, in great news for lovers of wraps, a team at Johns Hopkins has developed an edible tape that will keep your burrito from spilling. <laughs> hey, Johns Hopkins, uh, good job. Now that you've nailed the whole burrito packing tape thing, which I'm not saying isn't important, obviously it is, how is that cancer research coming? <laughs> Still looking for a way to hot glue my taco shut? Then please, no hurries. Take your time. <laughs> Meanwhile, Eric Clapton has tested positive for COVID, unsurprising as he is a critic of coronavirus vaccines and pandemic restrictions. Clapton's got a complicated relationship with shots. He famously admits administering one to the sheriff, but he swears he did not give one to the deputy. <laughs> meanwhile... <laughs> meanwhile, there's news from Paris, where tourists will soon be able to stay a night inside the Moulin Rouge. Renting out a sumptuous boudoir includes the Moulin Rouge's signature cabaret show and a three-course French meal, though guests will have to make do with a shared toilet. <laughs> Is this an Airbnb or an escape room? <laughs> we have fed all of you potatoes au gratin, drowned in cheese, steak soaked in butter, and a double creme caramel. Quick, lock the door while they fight over the toilet. <laughs> Bonne chance! <laughs> Quelle horreur! Meanwhile, according to a recent survey of dog and cat owners, 33% said they would choose their pet over their significant other. <laughs> While 100% of cats said, if you die in your sleep, I will eat your eyeballs. <laughs> we'll be right back with Shaquille O'Neal.